Guys, Symbol has killed three players, and now he is up against his fourth. It is LG's I Am MVP. Today is Q&A day. I have another question for you. Okay. Let's just assume that T is going to be the last player. Let's just assume he's going to okay. be the last player. Why not send him out now? Keep Symbol in a state where he constantly has to change his mindset, where he, where he, where he has to think about the next build, about the next race that he's going to face. Why send another turn right now after he just faced two? That is, I mean, that is a good point, but again, I, I feel like they may have something else up their sleeve. Nesty is actually uh, a good CBZ player, but Symbol has beaten him before. Okay, he's been a good CBZ player. I they mean, not face. Even... okay, well, you said assume let's, Nesty is, let's is there. Say, no, no, I just rephrase it. Let's just say that the fifth player is not going to be a turn. Okay. Why not send? Why not send him in first? That's a good question. I feel like part of them just wants to uh, to put MVP out here. Maybe what Symbol is expecting next. So now Symbol's got to deal with this problem right now. He may have already been thinking about potentially another ZVZ or another ZVZ, ZVP. They probably, he probably didn't think MVP, so maybe it shakes him up a little bit. Either way, man, let's see what MVP has planned. He has picked a big map to play against this Zerg. Oh, yeah, he did. The map's coming up. It is Whirlwind here at the GSTL. MVP against Symbol. Starting right now with Colin Wolf. It is on MVP against Symbol. This is one of the craziest games, or might be one of the craziest ones that we've seen today. To the top left of the map on Whirlwind, we have in the red the player. LGIM MVP! I don't think that anyone in the Incredible Miracle team expected this when Lucira took the fourth winner for the team, but now we have MVP. Three players were defeated so far by Symbol. And here he is, Code S champion. He's got so many results. He has won Code S more than any other player. Yeah. And he is now up against a very strong Zerg. To the top right, in the blue, the player for TSL, the last man standing. TSL, Symbol! What is he going to do here? That's going to be very, very interesting. The big question, will MVP be the one they are trolling us, aren't they? <laughs> the USA hurts pizza, man. Stop talking about pizza! By the Papa way, is getting hungry. MVP is going command center first. Yes. On the high ground rather than the low ground. He so goes, the Overlord won't scout it. He goes command center first here, yeah, and it's going to be really, really interesting to see if Symbol is also able to defeat MVP here. He had to go through Yoda and Happy, two Terran players, and now he's facing the third. Oh, the Overlord is only spotting the Supply Depot. Oh, he doesn't see the barracks, so he's not yep. going to know it's late. He does not know about the timing, he only saw the Supply Depot, nothing else. Really good for MVP with this opening, his opponent completely in the dark right now. Gas going up for MVP as well, very early. It's a huge map. It's a very, very big map that we currently see. It's one of the new additions to the GSTL. We have a whirlwind here. Yeah, you can see the win rates there in the bottom. Get some information. Uh, obviously, Symbol not having the best win rate against MVP. I'm so tense up right now. Symbol, he played so well the entire time, but always in the back of his head, there was this, this certainty that he had to face MVP. This is the best player in lineup. It's the GSL champion. And facing him is obviously as taking on the final boss. And will he be able to do it again? What kind of strategy is Symbol going to choose here? Will he really go for a similar attack? Will he go for Roach and Banelings once again? Three games in a row. Will we see something different? Just him playing a little bit more defensive? It's going to be so interesting to see how he's going to adapt to this. Yeah, what is MVP going to do? Right now he's already getting his factory going up. It's a pretty normal transition. He's done it with just one gas. He'll likely start his reactor. His next 50 gas is at 36 right now. Then he'll start using the Hellions to try to control the map. But he's going to have very fast uh, mules. He's going to have a better SCV count than his opponent expects. And what type of composition will we see from him, though? He's MVP, so he has some of the best tank marine control in the world. But also, his mech play is something we could potentially see. This is a big map. 
Not necessarily the map that you would see Mech on, but he has that option. Oh, he's going to make a fast third command center here. Yep, he's making the fast third, and at the same time, we have queen number three and number four. Four symbol nearly completed. No gas. This is definitely him switching it up. Yep, switching it up indeed. There's the third hatch coming down. So, I, I'm i wondering what, uh, what sort of compositions in the late game we will see, because right now, the, the way things are going in this game, it looks like we're going to have a long game. The fast third, command center, the late Roach Warren, this game will not end anytime soon. Mm, the one, well... That was weird, I wonder what Don't call it yet, yeah, the thing is, we've seen a three base into a Roach bailing attack by Suo Shin. He really liked this, and he, he kind of... He kind of made sure that his opponent would also scout the third. He doesn't have to cancel it. This hits a little bit later, but if your opponent is not prepared, he might still do damage. Just think about how many Terran players he faced and how well he kind of made this work. How, how, how well it worked against all of them. He did so much damage. But the fast tag to, to Lea, so definitely yeah. a and lot of different strategies. Yeah, and I think he's not going to show Mutas today. I think we will see Infestors, in fact, coming out of him. This map does not have a lot of space to work with with Mutalus. It is a big map as well. He's going to try to deny some creep. Nice cancel symbol on top of his cancels today with his tumors not losing very many of them at all. By the way, we've seen in the production tab now that not only the first tank is being built, but he's also going straight away for the siege tank mode. So this is exactly how you play if you know there might be an attack coming. So really nice preparation here in symbol. He's on four queens right now. He took uh, four gas. Yeah, and is gone. Yeah, yeah four. Double Evo Chamber, and I think we'll see an Investation Pit going up any second now. As soon as that layer finishes. Nice wall here. The Double Evo Chamber is part of that wall. The Hellions cannot get in, but they will be able to spot this third base location. And look at this. He's using the Roaches, not defensively, but he's going to make them part of his composition here. Getting Roach speed and plus one for his Roaches. Yep. I like the SimCity at the, at the wall. You, you already talked about it, but the, we've seen so many Zergs just die to, to, to Hellions. They were streaming in and suddenly uh, it was game over. But not today. Uh, not able to save the two drones. A good try. 15 drones have been built just a second ago. And these Hellions will be thwarted by the Roaches. Double, Double armory. armory. He's going mech, man. I he's told going you. Mech, yeah. He might do it and he's doing it. And Looks well, like he's practiced it for this map too. Now this is something we talked about yesterday uh, with the, did one you see of the, the armories. I don't think so, but still, uh, I think we just saw I it on screen, but I didn't so. catch it. Oh uh, no, 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 I didn't. So something we talked about yesterday was that these newer maps are often picked last, usually, and for this reason, MVP might have thought probably not going to play today. But if I do, I'm going to play on this map. And it's probably going to be against Symbol. If any player is going to drag it out this long, it's going to be against Symbol. So I'm going to practice Mech for this map, and that's all I'm going to practice. That may have been it. That may have been the reason why he came before an ST, because what if, uh, you know, if he uses someone else, then MVP gets to use this. I mean, obviously, it's all going to be ma their map picks, but... You know what the problem is? We have Roaches and Roach Tech. So yep. it's not like he has to adjust to what uh, his opponent does, what MAP does. He already prepares the upgrades. He already goes for the plus one attack upgrade and armor and has the roaches in position. So this is a pretty good scenario for Symbol as well. Obviously, he needs his tech in the late game composition too, but uh, in terms of mid game, this is looking not too bad for him. Yeah, he's going to be ahead in upgrades. Obviously, mech upgrades are going to just be slower in general because you have to get the armories out. You have to build a lot before you can do that. He's getting an engineering bay for the potential mutas now as well. He's making two tanks, two Hellions right now. His upgrades are going strong. He's got the third base up. And he'll probably take a fourth very soon because he knows that his opponent is going to be hard-pressed to attack him on a big map like this against Mech. And the fourth base location is pretty easy to defend as well. Twelve additional drones as he's just spreading his creep towards his opponent's base. A nice creep carpet that we currently have. The harvest account is now 60 SCVs to actually like 80. Oh, this is a great position oh, for Simple wow. though. He's gonna pick up both the tanks for free. Uh -oh. There was a wall prepared. It was. Uh -oh. oh man, this is so bad. He's not gonna raise the depots in time. The roaches get in. Oh my God, he kills every single tank and he hits when MVP does not have a strong roach army. Uh, sorry, mech army just yet. These roaches. Well, here they oh. come. Oh, wow. MVP. 
He pulls his SCDs. The star player for incredible miracle is on the ropes here. Another tank barely survives, tries to get away. The Roach is in pursuit, trying to take it down. So many SCDs dying. He lost 23, 24, and simple, he's not done yet. He's not done yet. More Roaches are coming across the map now. MVP with his pants down. He's got one tank, five Marines, and seven Hellions. And he's up against 23 Roaches with 10 more on the way. He's forced to lift his third command center. He's losing depots now. He's losing ground. 62 supply against 158. Simple continuing to spread creep. Five active tumors. He's got his rallied reinforcements coming, and they are coming fast. Indeed they do. We have every tech available for Symbol currently en route. Boro Roaches and he did so much damage already. He's getting base after base after base. He knows he's in the lead. He's fully aware of how much damage he actually dealt to his opponent. He doesn't care about these tanks. He's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care at all. Let's go in and take him down and tank number one dies. The second one is dying. And this is Symbol with 160, 170 supply against 51. He cannot scan to kill those. Oh if he does, he'll God. lose so many of his own units. He does start another wall here. He's making the eBay. It's the fastest building structure, but it's not going to be enough. He will be torn apart, and Symbol will take down the fourth player. He may actually get the reverse all kill today. Oh GG! my God! God, Symbol! <laughs> he ties it up! He ties it up! Just look at him! Look at TSL! They were down! They were down 4-0 and now suddenly this team, they filled up so much momentum. Everything is going their way. He is a symbol of hope and he is just playing like a madman. This is incredible. Today he has shown great play. In, in this game, we have to be a little bit honest. The, the composition he was going for, you said it so well, it was actually the best one he could have had. But how he attacked with it was simply... That was how, I mean, how he did it, he split the, the units, he targeted down the siege tanks, the siege tanks were isolated, he found them, he killed them, he did not hesitate at all. He continued to move forward, he ignored the command center, he went right for the heart, he kept the siege tank count low, and if you keep that siege tank count low and your opponent is mecking, Hellions aren't anything to you, SCBs aren't anything to you, it's all about Roach versus nothing. Someone has to patch this guy, seriously. <laughs> oh my god, four kills in a row, Lucera. Lucira started it. Lucira started this day and we're like, oh my god, is he getting the all kill? And then suddenly it's Symbol. And Symbol, he ties it up. That is... We have the ace match, Wolf. We have the ace match. There's one final boss. In all of the team league we've seen so far these two weeks, I have to say, seems like Zergs are doing just fine. <laughs> Let's be honest, Zergs are doing just fine right now. Well, right now we had so many ZVZs that That's obviously true. they do fine. <laughs> but we have had so many Zergs in the team league. TSL, a Zerg dominated team, but they have Symbol now. It's taken out MVP, and who will IM put out last? Will it be Nesty? Will it be Seed? Will it be even someone like Youngwa? Nesty. Yeah, I think it has to. Well, the thing is, Nesty hates coming out in Team League. He actually does. It's, it's, I don't care. Well, it's, it's, it's his choice, man, if he doesn't want to come out. I would drag him in the booth. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to see him, but the last map is the last map. It's Metropolis. There's no other map choice. Might be a pro. I think we should see Nesty, but it I could so, be though. Seed. He could do a Warp Prism build. There's so many different options. Whoever it is, you're like, I don't want to play. I'm not against him. <laughs> That's for sure, man. Whoever loses this last game is going to have the weight of the defeat on his shoulders. Even if it's if it's an IM player or if it's Symbol Man, this last game has got to feel terrible to lose. And I mean, so terrible. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you are, but for the next player, losing this next game is going to be horrible. Like, really horrible. Yeah. Well, I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to see who's going to play now. That's what I want to see too. We're going to find out in just seconds. Will it be Seed? Will it be Nesty? Will we see potentially like Yongwa? We have an ace match. It's an ace a four match, man. 4-0 lead. 4 Lucera kill, 4 kill. is going nuts. He's going completely crazy. 
taking down everyone. Revival, Inori, Paul, Hyun, nobody's able to stop him. And after we had Fnatic already succumb to Symbol's power, today it's incredible miracle. And they might lose, they might lose to a reverse all kill. How often have you seen a reverse all kill? Uh, very infrequently. <laughs> well, MVP is still in the booth there, Shaking not happy about his loss. He's like, what happened? And MVP, you know, I think that maybe the IM coach was like, he had a player, he was not really prepared for his last player. He's like, no, MVP's got this, it's fine anyway. Now he's like, ah, I gotta pick this player, I gotta decide right now. He's as stressed out as we are trying to figure out who it's gonna be. And this is a tough can, moment. Only one player will advance the I next game. I can tell game. you one thing. Fnatic is now sitting at the Fnatic house. They're watching this now like, God, please, Symbol, do us a favor and win. <laughs> I rather take on ST and MVP, but I don't want to face Symbol again. Not again. Not again, man. I, I mean, don't think so. I mean, they can train like three snipers for this guy. If you take Symbol down, I don't know. Right now, it feels if you are able to do s to make something happen against this guy, you are in a great position. But unbelievable, guys. Whoever wins this next game decides the victory for their team, and that team will advance yeah. to the next round. They will not have to play anymore in this group, so this is a very important moment for both teams. The loser this is it. The loser is up against Fnatic tomorrow. Oh, who is it going to be, man? Is it going to be Nesty? He's texting. I don't know what he's doing over there. And on the other side. Oh, it's Nesty. He's coming Woo! out. Nesty has been chosen. He has accepted the IM coach saying, yes, I will actually come out and play. I will do this. The last time Nesty came out for the last for his team, he lost to Tails in the final round. It was destroyed by Dark Templar, and it was an embarrassing loss for him. We'll see if this time he can actually come through for his team in their darkest hour here. Indeed, in the darkest hour. I mean, oh, the ace match is a ZVZ. And the last time these guys played against each other, Symbol won. MVP was not able to stop him. Will T be able to finally put an end to this reign of terror? Oh man, look at that. Look at the win rate for T of 0.25. It's not done as well in the team league as he probably would have liked. As I mean, far as his uh, his performance in individual leagues has gone, that is. Atos has told us that Nesty created the universe, but I think that was actually pretty pretty darn easy in comparison to uh, beating the symbol today. <laughs> well, I mean, Nesty's as as probably like, can I create another universe? Is that okay? Do I really have to beat him? Can I just create a universe where he doesn't exist? <laughs> as far as that as far as that goes, man, I would rather create another universe. Look at the CSL team. This is why I love this team. This is how close that they are. They all are Zerg players. They all know so many ZBZ strategies. They've all played against Nesty on the ladder a million times. They know what to do. <laughs> Nesty is probably thinking, well, back then when I was creating the universe, what was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is going to be such a tough match for Nesty, but you know, some might even consider him to be the favorite here, even though he's lost this guy in the past, and Symbol is looking like he's on a tear today. This T is going to be also a tough opponent for Symbol, jokes aside. This is going to be oh, an awesome match. We said the last game was going to be great. It was a little bit anticlimactic. We'll see what Nest T has to offer on our final map, the Ace Match. This here is they are. indeed the Ace Match. This is going to be crazy. I'm so looking forward to it. I don't care if it's a 6 pool or 7 pool. A 10 pool or the late game, the game is going to be sick. This is going to be so wicked. Oh man, it will be wicked indeed. Wow. Look at that. Win rate for Symbol on this map, 100%. Nesty, I don't think, has even played on this map yet in Team League, so that's not going to show up for him. But this is such an incredible moment for this incredible Miracle team. Can LG IM Nesty stop this guy? He's the last hope, but Symbol, again, he's been the last hope for the last four games, and four for four, he has come through. Only one player will take this game, and the player who does will move their team forward into the next round of the GSTL. I am Wolf, with me is Kaldor. Who is gonna win this game? We're about to find out. Let's not wait any longer. Let's go into Metropolis.